And if you find anything, it's not down to me. Right, Mick. Put some of the top card outside. You better ask him, make cork up. Why, what's happened? What's in there? Let's have a quick whirly. Well? What's in there? You look after these for us. What's going on? I've got the drug squad turning me over. They've even been upstairs in the old flats. They've got warrants and everything. Oh, no, not Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. The fella you vouched for. The fella I gave a chance to. They marched in here last night and took him off to the Nick. Well, what's he done? He's been selling drugs in La Lute, hasn't he? <sighs> well, did they find the drugs on him? Well, not that I know of. Then how did they know he's guilty? Would you put your life savings on it? He's looking at the sack, I'm telling you. Look. I could have insisted on having a brief here. I could have said no comment to everything you've asked. But I haven't. Because I'm innocent. I've been telling you all night. Go on. I've told you. I have not been selling drugs in La Luth or anywhere else. That's because you're selling them from the pizza shop now. Oh, for the hundredth time! It's a good cover, though, isn't it? Tell the world you've packed up dealing, get a little job in a pizza shop next to a popular nightclub, and deal from there. I know I've got a track record. But I'm out of it. That's very public spirited of your son-in-law last May to talk to the Hushush Brigade at headquarters. He only cooperated with them to get my daughter and her fella out of prison in Thailand. You went to Thailand, didn't you? Good place for someone like you to make contacts. I was visiting my daughter in prison, for God's sake. And after that son-in-law of yours got started, David Tilston's little network took a knock. Did you know his brother had been locked up in Rotterdam for importing heroin from Thailand? No, I didn't. I don't know anything about that. Looks a bit fishy, though, doesn't it? Does it? You and Gary Stanlow could have contrived a few ways of muscling in on Tilston's patch. <laughs> this is mad. You're way off beam. Where is Gary these days, by the way? Oh, I have no idea. Sure he's not in Holland? Why should he be? He might have taken over from Tilston's brother, eh? That'd be a good way of getting heroin supplies for you to deal, wouldn't it? Look, I keep telling you. I don't deal anything! I think I'm too uptight to fish properly. Probably. Some final fling this is turning out to be. Perhaps it's fate. I just wish we could have had some more time together. We are doing. You know what I mean. It's impossible, Nat, you know that. You should be with Jules right now. Listen. Max and Susanna have probably gone out by now. We could go back to the house. Look, I'd feel better about going back to Jules then. Should have gone back as soon as the Farnham showed up. The wedding's only a week away. They must be wondering what's going on. You don't want us to have this time together, do you? I'm here, I do. Up here, something's telling me it's too dangerous now. God, what the Farnhams have to show up for? Forces of good overcoming evil. <laughs> or maybe it's just fate. I wish you'd shut up about bloody fate. So, when are you going to go back? And when are you going to ring Jules? I'll sort it out, OK? Don't worry. Chance of another coffee, mate. Right, Jimmy. Let's get your cross on one of these bail forms and you're out of here. You what? You keep me here all night and that's it? For now, yeah. You've got six weeks' grace while we keep digging. Listen, all that stuff you were saying about me and Gary, it's garbage. I really am going straight. Yeah. Well, I'll be watching you. You're wasting your time, honest. 
Oh, yeah. Well, until I get another name, you're top of the list. My boss wants results, and he always gets what he wants. All right. I'm innocent. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to clean up that sleazy little club, and I'm going to have you. So what was it about? Was that anything to do about Mick attacking that posh bloke opposite you? Holly Simpson? No. No, I think there was some trouble with some drunks in the club, you know. Well, they always want a statement off for Mick, you know, in case he goes off with the shop at Chuck and out time, so... No work today? Uh, no. I'm on holiday for a fortnight. Oh, hi. You going anywhere? I might be, yeah. Right. What do you think of that? Oh, that's nice, yeah. Where is it? Abersock, North Wales. Do you know it? Well, I've heard of it, yeah. A friend from work said I can have it for a fortnight. She booked, but her mum's on urgent notice in hospital. Well, that looks all right, that, yeah? Just a little holiday home, but... You, um, you going on your own? Well, I'm hoping not, no. I'm going with you. With me? Yeah, you. Oh, Val, I can't. Oh, come on, it's perfect. She's let me have it for half price and everything. Well, I've only just started the business, haven't I? I can't go away. Oh, you can't turn down an offer like this. Just the two of us, a place of our own. We've hardly had any time together, have we? Yeah, I know, but... When was the last time you were offered a seven-day dirty weekend day? You won't regret it. A bit better than screwing the bags off washing machines, eh? Oh, God, Val, I'd love to go. But, well, I've got loads of people coming in here now. I mean, I need someone in here. Well, can't you get someone else to mind the shop? Like who? There isn't anyone. <sighs> yeah, OK, me. Look, I'll tell him to give you a ring when he gets in. Yeah. OK, see ya. And she dad? I don't know. I haven't seen him. He must have gone out early. No, I thought he might be able to do me a favour. Like what? Well, I'm thinking of making a documentary, you know, our experiences in Bangkok. What? You know, a film of, like, what we went through and that. Why? Wouldn't you sooner forget about all that, Mike? Well, if I can get it all down on tape, I might be able to get it out my head. I was thinking of doing tape interviews of me and you, my dad and Bev, your mum and dad, and, you know, record how they all felt at different times. Look, Mike, we've got two weeks in the States. Can't you just save some of the tapes for that? I mean, you don't want to go wasting them all on you and a will. Hi, Dad. Hi, love. Hi, right, Mike. You're right, Jim. Mick's been on the phone. He says, will you give him a ring? Um. Right. Uh, what did he want? He didn't say. You're not doing work till tonight, though, are you? No. Oh, maybe he's got some extra hours for you. Yeah, maybe. Where have you been? Didn't hear you coming in last night. Um. No, uh, just uh, out, you know. Uh, where's your mum? She's taking Kylie into town. She needs some new shoes. Didn't she tell you? Uh, yeah, I forgot. Anyway, you know you wanted for an interview. Do what? No need to bite me head off. It's only a few questions. Yeah, I'm making a video of our experiences in Bangkok, you know, a documentary sort of thing. I just wondered if I could interview you. Oh, right. You know, on just how you felt at home, over there, and, you know, worrying about Lindsay and Kylie. Oh, look, son, I'm not ready for this. Let's... Maybe till you get back from America, eh? Aren't you gonna ring me? Can't I go with the bog? You look just like Grandpa standing there. Yeah. Shame I haven't got the tweed suit. Honestly, you could be him when he was younger. Dad, look, someone's fishing. <sighs> so they haven't gone away for the day, then? Don't sound too pleased about it. Don't be so childish. God, it's them. Can't we watch? Do you think we should, Matt? No, come on, Matthew, let's go around the other side of the lake. Wanna watch? Oh. Five minutes won't do any harm. <laughs> you always give in to them. I thought we were respecting each other's privacy. I thought you were about to pack up anyway. Hi. 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 Do you mind if we watch for a moment? Not at all. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. yeah. It's one of our, my favourite places. Into a bit of fly fishing, eh? Yeah, well, I'll try. Looks a bit complicated to me, all this fancy casting. No, no, it's the easy bit. It's finding the right fly for the circumstances. That's the hard bit. Have you caught any? Well, it's a bit bright today. I mean, I got one about ten minutes ago. Where is it? I threw it back. It was only about a pound. Oh, that's a shame. Could have cooked it for us. 
Max likes to show off his culinary skills. You'll have to think of something else to impress our host, darling. Well, perhaps Max would like to catch his own. <laughs> Do you want to have a go? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. Ah, you have to start somewhere. Ah, all right. Have you had lunch? Well, actually, we've been copycats and bought a picnic. <laughs> well, why don't you join us? Great! Hi, Jimmy. Ah. Is our Jack in? Um, no, I think she's gone into town. Oh, do you know it's due home? No, I don't, I don't. I'm just uh, nipping out myself, you know. Uh, why was up? Oh, nothing really. It's just that I've been offered this all-day flat in Wales on the cheap, you know, mate from work. Um, would you mind if she came with me? When, like? Tomorrow. And what about her job? I mean, she's only been there five minutes. She wouldn't get the time off at such short notice, would she? Oh, I've got to tell her yes or no today. I don't know what to do. Yeah, Mum, I didn't take that fellow of yours with you. Surely that'd be better than dragging our Jackie along. Yeah, well, that was my original plan, but he can't come. Says he can't leave the shop. You yeah, what? Is he mad or something? Hey, Sin, get over here! Hey, don't be showing me up. You may not want to come. Don't talk, Dad. Do you want to go? Leave it to me. I'll sort it. How do you mean? Well, me and Jackie are working part-time chefs, aren't we? We'll look after this flaming shop for him. What is it? You are going on holiday with my sister-in-law. No arguments. I, I said you can't go. Well, I'd love to, Val, but, you know... Hey, mate, you did me that favour with Mick. I owe you one, don't I? I'll look after the shop. You? Oh, well, yeah. it'll be mostly Jackie. I mean, she doesn't do as many hours as you, does she, Jim? Oh, no, yeah. Jackie will be in charge. You get off, enjoy yourself with our Val. Go on. Are you, uh, you sure about this, Jimmy? Look, mate, you got me that job with Mick Johnson, didn't you? Hey, I want to pay you back. Uh, well, actually, talking about Mick, do you think you could keep an eye on him as well as the shop? Why, like? Well, he's been messing around with anabolic steroids. Steroids? Mick? Y yeah, look, there's only Sin and I who know about it, but we're really worried about him. He's getting really touchy with everyone. Yeah, I think well, they're really affecting him. We don't know about that for sure, though, Val, do we? So don't say anything to him, Jimmy, all right? My lips are sealed. I'll be too busy anyway. Flogging cookers, won't I? Oh, this is really good of you, Jimmy. I don't know what to say. Here, go and use our blower. Bring your mate. Tell him it's all on. Go ahead. All right. Hey, you better get yourself organised. We're going tomorrow. So, uh, what's all this about steroids? Never mind that. How are you going to look after my shop if you're banged up? No, they let me go. Pending further inquiries. I'm telling you, Sin, I'm innocent. How much longer is all this going to go on for, eh? Look, I'm just worried about Mick, that's all. The drug squad went over his place with a fine tooth comb this morning. They had a search warrant and everything. Bloody Nora. Oh, well, that's it. He'll sack me. How am I going to convince Mick it's all wrong? I'm telling you, Sin, they've got the wrong guy. I don't do that anymore. You've got to be quick. See, the trout rose to it and blew out the fly. They're not stupid. Mm. Shabby me, isn't it? <laughs> I can see one over there. Yeah, try casting that spot over there. <sighs> okay. All right, now concentrate and watch for the rise. Did you, um, did you call, Mum? Uh, no, no, we didn't get round to it. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Are you wondering whether the wedding arrangements are going to plan? No, I'm sure everything's fine. <laughs> I say. Seemed very relaxed about it all, coming down here just a few days before the wedding. Yeah, well, you know, I just got fed up with all the rehearsals. When all I've got to do is turn up at the appointed time. <laughs> Lucky you. Then only had a nervous breakdown the week I married Susanna. Yeah, well, I just didn't want to get dragged down by all that. I mean, Jules is great, but her mum and dad are a pain in the butt. <sighs> so, Jules doesn't mind, then, uh, you disappearing like that? I'd cast again if I were you. Oh. Must be a bit of a pain for you, Susanna. You know, me and George being here. Well, we're muddling through. Well, listen, I was going to suggest to George anyway. Um, we could babysit for you tonight if you want. Really? Yeah. I mean, we went out last night. You go out. Have some time. Oh, thanks. I'd really appreciate it. You all right? What were you doing? Oh, I'm going to catch a fish. Oh. I think we better pack up. 
I'm sure you still want to babysit. So, you enjoying yourselves? Oh, yes. Must get your mum a present as a thank you. I should have phoned. Felt how kind you've both been. Never mind. You're probably up to a neck in wedding arrangements. Oh, yes, of course. Are you getting married to Nat? No. Nat and Georgia are brother and sister. Nat's getting married to Jules. Georgia might be a bridesmaid, of course. <laughs> Must be great to get on with your brother like that and have this lovely little hidey hole to come down to. Yeah, Nat and me have spent a lot of time down here. Hi. 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 Oh, fishing didn't take long. Oh, Matthew, what happened? He has to tell him. Oh, I think you stray home into a hot bath. Um, well, actually, I said to Max, we'll sit with the kids tonight if you guys want to go out for a dinner or a drink. Really? Yeah, good idea, don't you think? Oh, yes. It's not a problem, is it, George? No. Not at all. Excuse. We haven't got any aspirins left, have we? Do you mind? Sorry, but my head's banging. And before you give me any lectures, Terry told me to keep those coffees sweet, make them feel welcome. He didn't tell you to match them drink for drink, though. Have a look in there. No, it wasn't like that. They were a good laugh, though. You're not going out with busies now, are you? Look, can you get out of my way? Sorry. Are you going out? I told you last night, I've got to be here in Manchester, I've got to be there in an hour. But I'm working, what about Lou? Well, I can't do it tonight, I'm sorry. I'll have to ask Rachel. She's in Bristol. Oh, you're kidding. No, she went to stay with the mob while you were still in bed this morning. And Jackie won't babysit for me? No chance, she told me last night she'd never babysit for you again. Selfish cow. Uh, no, if anyone's selfish, it's you. You just take it for granted that we'll look after Lou for you and it's not on. But what else can I do? I mean, she needs so many things, clothes and all sorts. I mean, that job keeps us going. I realise that, but you're going to have to get something sorted, get a proper childminder or babysitter or something. Well, what about tonight? I mean, I can't just go and find one like that. Well, you'll have to tell him you can't come in. Oh, and then I'll lose money. Jackie's already hassling me for the rent. Well, you'll have to make your hours up at the weekend or something. Well, there's no chance of that. What a sister's for, eh? We won't just see them there. Oi! You're flogging gear in there, aren't you? After all I said. So what? So what? I've just spent the night banged up in the nick, trying to convince the busies that I've got nothing to do with all the gear floating round in there. I'll give you a chance, Jimbo. You could have come in with me. They've searched my boss's shop. You've landed me right in it. Oh, too well with flogging pizzas. Come in with me. Let's go for it. Be like you used to be, eh? No chance. Hey, I could end up back in prison for this. I've got some drugs spot on and bleeding down my neck. He wants results. He could stitch me right up. Look, Jimmy, come in with me and get rich big style or get off me back, yeah? You, I am warning you. You had to stop flogging that gear, right? Or I'll make sure that I stop it myself. Oh, you couldn't do us a favour, could you? Oh, go on. I'm gonna be late for my shift. Can you cover for us? Why were you, Gavin? Well, my baby sister's let me down. I'm gonna have to find someone else. Okay, but hurry up, will you? Teddy's already got a knock on because of that raid last night. Oh, cheers, Mo. I won't be long. Go on, Ice. Ow! This is crazy. <laughs> Is your idea. <laughs> anyway, that's how else we're going to get some time together. <laughs> oh, you're crushing me! Sorry. No. <laughs> oh. Shh. What? Now I can hear another car. Hmm? Oh, duck down! Duck down! <laughs> oh, Lord. It's the police. Duck down. Oh. <laughs> 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 what do you think you're doing? Right, so there you go, Louise. Now you keep nice and warm and Mummy will just be outside. You can't let her sleep in here. What's Terry gonna say? Yeah, well, Terry's getting blattered in some casino, isn't he? Stan said I'd be okay. Stan's the flaming bouncer and the bar manager, and it's not on. Look, do you just want to run the bar with you and Sandra? No, but Cos that's what'll happen if I have to take her home. Now, take your choice, Mo. If Teddy finds out... Well, he won't, will he? Now, can I get her to sleep, please? <sighs> right, now, you go to sleep, Lou. Be a good girl. And Mummy will just be outside, OK? Night, night. You can't park here. There's 
combines and tractors going down here all day. Wants us to move on. <laughs> oh, come on, then. Yeah, but what if he does this for, oh, I don't know, um, using the car for immoral purposes? Oh, great. He's going. Right. Come on. Oh, where were we? Max. What? No. What's the matter? Max, I'm not in the mood now. Oh, oh. oh. No. Foot. All right. Oh. 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 We didn't seem to mind in our courting days. Oh. And we did that in a mini. We've grown up a bit since then. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you don't want to be caught in another car using it for immoral purposes, do you? No. <laughs> All right. Let's get back. <laughs> tomorrow, okay? Oh, God damn it! Told you, fake. <laughs> On your face. Oh. Hi. Oh, hi. Good night at the pub. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Kids all right? Yeah, yeah, they've just gone up. You, uh, you could have stayed out later, you know. Oh, I couldn't. Must be all the country air. I'm going up. Oh, well, uh, have a glass of wine. The children, they won't be settled yet. Oh, I couldn't. Night all. Good night. Night. Nat's probably going back tomorrow. Ah, oh, right. So I'll sleep on the sofa and the children can have my room for the last day or two, if Nat does go. Oh, right. Um, are you going to have another go at the fishing? Uh, yeah, could I borrow your tackle? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, great. Well, I'll have a go sometime tomorrow because Susanna, she's going to spend some time around the house. No, you should take the whole family. Teach them all to cast. They'd enjoy it. Well, as long as you keep uh, Matthew out of the water. <laughs> Good idea. So you're getting away with Val? How have you swung that, you jammy so-and-so? Well, I've told Fee that I'm going down to Bristol for a couple of weeks to spend some time with Ruth. Dangerous stuff telling lies to women, you know? There are worse things I can think of doing. Yeah. Cheers. So you're still taking them things? I'll just leave it, eh? Okay, it's up to you. All right. I phoned you to come and see me hours ago. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that, boss. So give me a reason why I shouldn't give you the sack. Hey, hang on, Mick. He hasn't even been charged yet. Just leave it, eh, sir? Mick. They let me go. They've got nothing on me. All right, I know they searched the shop and that, but that's routine. All the usual suspects and that. Look, they pulled the wrong fella. That's garbage, Jimmy. It's true. It's not me. I know they've got the wrong guy. So who is it then? I don't know. You don't know. Very convenient, that, Jimmy. Look, I'm not interested in fairy stories. You prove to me it's not you dealing by the end of the week and you'll keep this job. Otherwise, you're finished. to go fishing. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Have you phoned home yet? No, not yet. And Jules? I'll do it. You could have done it hours ago. Instead, you've been sat there all day with your head in a paper. How do I look? 
<laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Complete angler, ain't that? Yeah, uh, you look just the part. Thank you. Mm, I think it takes a little more than that, though, darling. Oh, well, I'm quietly confident, yeah? I had a flick through that book you lent me. <laughs> oh, you should be all right, then. <laughs> Which um, fly should I use? Oh, I'll use the pheasant tail nymph, and then the, the sedge fly. Oh, right. Good. Come on. Let's catch some fish. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, George. Did you know if there's a fishmonger's round here? Max has promised us trout for tomorrow lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you little face. <laughs> you never know. Beginner's luck. Try the uh, far side of the lake. Cheers. Go and phone. I was just going to get us a bottle of wine. Phone. We need the money, Jimmy. You can't lose another job because of your past. Yeah, more than I'm supposed to do. Mick says I've got to prove it's someone else selling drugs in the club, otherwise that's it. I'm sacked. Well, then you do it, don't you? You find out who's selling drugs and you tell Mick. I can't. Oh, come on, Jimmy. You know something, don't you? I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Well, who is this? I can't blacken someone's name just like that. What about your name? They don't come much blacker. Who is this? Between you and me? Just tell me, Jim. Mega. What? That flaming no mark who tried to rob the till last week? Yeah. I knew it. Why the hell did you go anywhere near him, eh? I didn't go anywhere near him. He came near me, and I told him where to get off right from the start. Well, how come the police are dragging you in, then? <sighs> Jackie. The busies are so desperate to pin anything on me. They haven't even interviewed Macca or anyone else at the club. They're just after me. Well, you're just going to have to tell them then, aren't you? You mean bubble them? I can't do that. It's you or him, Jimmy. You'll have to do us. <sighs> That's it, son. You carry on, eh? Why do you keep taking them pills, lad? Uh, just from my shoulder. I mean, what did they do? Well, they help the injury heal and uh, help the muscle build up and all, you know. They them um, steroid things. Well, steroids, what makes you think that? Well, steroids make your muscles go bigger. I've seen it on the telly. No, well, these are just like uh, super vitamins, that's all. And can I have some? No, you can't. They're too strong for you. Adults only assess them on the box. Hey, mate. Uh, listen, could you do us a favour? I need a babysitter for Louise tonight. I'm working. Sorry, I can't, Sam. I'm going to work myself in a minute. Oh, is Sinbad in tonight? No, he's gone away. Uh, go and see Mandy. Well, Rachel never said she went yesterday. Yeah, it's sort of a last-minute decision, I think. Um, can't the girls on? Oh, they're going to some party. They won't be in till all hours. I could do it. Would you? Be softly. You're too young. Mind our jams. Yeah, but that's different. Oh, go on, Mick. He's a big boy now, and I'd pay him. Oh, come on, Dad, please. It's just this once. Look, I don't need this, Sammy. I've said no, haven't I? Right, so I'm sorry for opening my mouth. She said she'd pay me. What do you want money for? This footy training school thing. Going over the holidays. Look, I've got to go to work. I want you in the shop in half an hour, because I'm going to need some milk. Will you pay me? Just be there, OK? I can't bubble someone to the busies. You should have done it last week when he tried to rob the till. If you'd have phoned the police then, none of this would have happened. Jackie, I just can't do it. I've never grasped on anyone in my life. It's just not done. How do you think the police solve crimes? Oh, yeah, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, informers, grassers. Grassers are what people like you call them. It's prison talk, Jimmy. It's gangster talk. You keep telling me you're going straight, don't you? Well, straight people. Real straight people. They wouldn't think twice about reporting someone to the police. Yeah, but word could get round. I've seen what happens to grasses in prison. Yeah, well, you're not in prison, Jimmy. You're going straight, aren't you? No, look. Mac is not a bad lad. That's why I let him off last week. Look what happened. You could lose your job. And what's left of your reputation? Nothing will change, Jimmy. Unless you stop him selling drugs round here. Look, he'll have some heavy mates now, won't he? Hey, the suppliers and that. What if they find out? You won't find out anything of your phone crime stoppers. It's all anonymous. Oh, what? I phone them a lot, do you? I've seen the adverts, haven't I? They don't even ask for your name. It's totally anonymous. No, no come back. No, I don't like it. Why? Jackie, I just don't. Look, I know what you say. Is it because what you've told me is a load of bull? Oh. Are you really going straight, or is this just one of your cork lies? Oh. 
Are you back selling drugs, Jimmy? Are you taking them again on the quiet? No, I'm not. Right. Well, you fill that number now. Where are you going? To where? No one will leave near you make the call. Let me know when you've done it. Have you phoned them? Yep. Jules and Mum? Yep. They managed to leave a message for the possible best man. Well, what did they say? Mum went ape. <laughs> what did you expect? What about Jules? I was quite surprised. She didn't go mad or shout at me or anything. Well, what did she say? She just wanted me to promise I'll be back in time for the wedding. And did you? Yeah, of course I did. Good. Did you tell them where you are or mention me? Yeah. I said that I asked you to help me think things through and that. You know, and it was your idea to come up here. For old time's sake. Yeah, exactly. Good. Well, the main thing is they know you're okay and that you're going to turn up on the day. I won't be there. No offense, Nat, but I really don't want to be there. And what about Mum and Dad and everyone? What are you going to tell them? Think of something. It's complicated, isn't it? So, I have to give you a lift to the station. I don't want to go home tonight. And tomorrow's soon enough. I need you, George. Just one more time. I mean, that's it. Over. For good. What if they come back? Look, not too hard. You'll break the leader. Be careful, Matthew. Well, can't you come and get it? You might fall. What, and get even more tangled up? Now, let's just calm down, shall we? Just watch where you're walking, Emily. Get off the line! Oh. <sighs> Sorry for shouting, darling, but... Is it free yet? <laughs> Last. Can you try and get the line in the water this time? Oh, it's just a slight misjudgment on the back cast, you know? Mm, what did Matt's book say? Fly fishing, a sport of science and an art? Yeah, well, it's not working out quite like that. It's more a case of chuck it and chance it. <laughs> there we are. Perfect. Have you enjoyed the holiday? Yes, I have. In spite of everything. In spite of what? <sighs> Nat and George are under our feet, sleeping <laughs> arrangements. <laughs> we'll have patience, Max. We'll make time when we get home. Yeah, we'll have daily to contend with them, won't we? Oh, well, hopefully you'll stay in France a bit longer. Oh, I hope so. What do you say we book into a hotel tonight? End the holiday on a high note. I mean, it'll feel as if we've had a proper second honeymoon. Oh, I don't know. Might seem a bit rude to the Simpsons, so let's wait till we get back. Yeah, I suppose so. Would have been nice, though, wouldn't it, to um, consummate things <laughs> while we were away? <laughs> I know. But at least we've had time together as a family. We'll have lots of time to be alone in the future. Max! <laughs> you fucked me, you idiot! Get it off! You don't have to pack for me, you know. Oh, if I left it to you, the plane would have gone before you'd even time to get your toothbrush. <laughs> Didn't seem to have much here for two weeks. Oh, well, yeah, you can get loads of that good sweatshirts and t-shirts over there, can't you? They're cheap. Oh. Well, maybe you can get some for me as well, then, eh? Yeah, do you? Mike, can you just stop there for a minute and sit down? What for? Just sit down, will you? Mike, check-in's in three hours' time. We haven't got time to be messing about. This isn't messing about. I want you to do your interview. I've got too much to do, Mike. I want to start on it before we go away, before you forget what it was like. I'm not likely to do that, am I? I know, I know, but while it's still fresh in your mind. I don't know what to say, Mike. Well, just talk. And tell me what the interview room is like at Bangkok. I'm no good at things like this. Linz, I don't want a performance. I just want you to talk dead normal, as though you were telling someone you just met. But what? Well, what was the interview room like? What were the people like? I can only remember bits. 
No, think hard and it'll come back to you. You've just been arrested. What happened next? How did you feel? I remember how hot it was. So sticky and dirty. Still read my horoscope in the papers. Hmm? No, yeah. I do. I've never missed. It's very chores. I have this mad superstition. If I didn't read your horoscope every day, I'd never be able to make love to you again. <laughs> I always remember that book you used to read to me. You know, about how Leo and Aries were the perfect match for a long and happy relationship. How much chance of that for us? I'm going to be married this time next week. Let's just make the most of our last day together. Then we can go back to being proper brother and sister again. I know Kylie. He pointed at the other man and said something to him. I couldn't understand what he was saying. Just remember how dark it was in that little room. Then they sent the woman in and she picked up Kylie and Kylie was so frightened. She weed down her leg. They wouldn't even let me kiss her or say bye-bye. I didn't know what they were gonna do. Great son, thanks. You're gonna pay me then. What is this about money, Leo? For some footy training thing. I thought if I could get the money together, he'd let me go. Where is it? Only in the school field. Oh, you don't want to be bothering with that. That's only gonna be a Mickey Mouse thing. But everyone's going. Tony, Bolo, everyone. Look, if you want to get fit, I'll work out a proper program to go along with the weights, so running, jogging. By the time you get back to school, you'll be a different fella. Can't I just go to the school thing? But why spend money when I can get you fit? Anyway, money's a bit tight at the moment. It's not fair. You've been spending the money. I've heard you've been telling Simba how much you pay for that stupid body wax thing. Hey, come on, son. It's true. And you bought some new weights last week. And you've been buying them stupid super vitamin pills as well. No, I meant it for the next novices competition. I've got to spend for that. That's all you ever think about now is the stupid competition. No, it's not. Last year we went on a caravan in Rill. We haven't even been out since then. I need to do my training. It's not fair. Even our gems ask if we were going on all of this. Uh, you know I'm busy in the shop as well. The shop's shut on a Sunday. Can't we just go somewhere on a day out? Well, look, you know I need to do a full day's training on a Sunday. You know that. Look, son, it's just time, that's all. Look, I'll sort your program out. You'll enjoy it, honest. Why don't we drive over to Oxford? a meal out, you know, somewhere nice. Mm. Sounds lovely. But you have to go back tomorrow. Yeah, I know, but tomorrow's another day. I just want to enjoy my last day down there. It's not. I've got to show him this. Sorry, I... Oh, God.
and pack your things. Come on. Why? Matthew, please, just do as you're told. Well, we're going home. Um, um, just be a good girl. Go and pack your things. Go quickly, quickly now. Um, I think we'd better leave. Honestly, there's no need. We've still got another day, yet. Yeah? We, um, no, I think we'd better get back home. Susanna, really, you don't have to go. Yes, well, I think it might be for the best. I've packed up the fishing tackle as I found it. Look, this must seem really... It, it's not what it seems. Really. Well, obviously, we weren't expected back quite so soon. Well, I'll just go and pack our things. Is there anything I can do to help? No, 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 I can manage, thank you. Well, at least let me make you some coffee or a snack or something before you go. Uh, look, uh, would you like me to clean this for you? Um, no, thank you. I tell you what, keep the fish. Thanks very much. Right, I'll uh, organise the car. Hey, Mo, fetch us a drink, will you? What did your last slave die of? Ah, I'll be telling. You're flush, aren't you? Get yourself one, as long as it's a slim line, eh? Oh, cheeky melt. Uh, you can just turn straight round and take her home. Oh, she won't cause any trouble. She might not tell you when he's going mad. He's already heard about last night. Did you go and tell him? Not me. See slack mouth Sandra if you want to know who snitched on you to the boss. Yeah, well, she's not on tonight, is she? Oh, surely I can let her. No chance. If Terry catches you letting her kid in the office, it'll be me that gets it in the neck. You'll have to take her home. Go on. Don't be so tight, Mo. No one asked your opinion. Oh, but all the girls are out tonight. Then find someone else to mind her. She can't stay here. How about that drink, eh? Get back under your stone, MC Pratt. Oh, Mo, what am I gonna do? Look, I'll cover you for 20 minutes, but you'll have to get your skates on. Terry will be in soon. And he is coming in tonight. Positive. Thanks a lot. Oh, God, not more coppers. I hope this isn't another raid. Are you three members? Hiya. Hiya, Mum. <laughs> hey, what's going on at the club? There's a police car outside. Where? Yeah, they got naked the other day. it would be something to do with that, won't it? Oh, no. So, uh, when are you two off, then? I'll have to take this to the airport in a quarter of an hour. Mm -hmm. You're OK, Lance? You haven't been crying, have you? Don't be daft. And here's me thinking you might be missing your mum. Of course I'll miss you. Yeah. <laughs> Look after her, Ayla. Yeah, we will do. Hey, and listen, if you bump into Richard Gear while you're over in California, <laughs> just tell him where to live, eh? I'll bring him back in a case for you if you want. <laughs> All right, you two. Ready for the off? Yeah, Mike's dad's taking us to the airport. Ah, right. Shouldn't you be working? Yeah, I'm just on my way in. Uh, Mick's let me have five minutes. Say goodbye to my favourite daughter. Take care. Of you. <laughs> Have a nice time, eh, Mike? Yeah, I'll try my best. Oh, come here, Mum. <laughs> right. I'll see ya. I'll see send you a later. card. Sure. <laughs> well, did you do it then? Yeah. That's why the cop cars turned up. See? Wasn't that hard, was it? Well, at least they didn't want to know who I was or anything. You never know, Jim. You might have done him a favour. Before he got shot or something by someone like that Davy Tilston. Maybe. What have I done? Got him off your back. And made sure I don't end up waiting for you to get out of prison again. Grace, time to go and see me. No. No. But... Oh, don't worry, Jimmy. I'm coming with you. I'll just tell Gordon. Now, Louise, I've written the telephone number to the club on this piece of paper. Now, you will ring, won't you, if you're worried about anything? Now, look. I promise I'll be straight back after I finish work, OK? Mummy won't be long, and Auntie Katie will be back straight after rehearsals. Now close your eyes. Go to sleep. Good girl. Up to Druggy. Yes, because he's going straight and he's acting like a normal person. I am impressed, Jimmy. He had to do it, Mick. It's not right, Jimmy, losing his job for something he didn't do. 
all the rascals. Just give them one more chance. Look, Turkey, I know what you're saying, but Mick, it's Macca that's guilty, not me. And if the police had known that the other night, they wouldn't have touched me, I'm sure of it. All right, Jimmy, one more chance. But I'm telling you, I don't want any more trouble back on my toes. There won't be, boss. The better haven't be. It certainly explains a few things. I mean, you have to have a pretty good reason for jolting your bride at the wedding rehearsal. An incestuous affair with your sister fits the bill. But the parents don't even know they've been down here together. Do you think they lied about phoning? Uh, probably. Now, I wonder how long it's been going on. Can you imagine? You sat with your brother or sister. This seems such a normal family. Do you think they've been, uh, you know, the whole time they've been down here? What are we going to say to Belle and Ollie? They obviously don't know. They look absolutely petrified. I mean, the wedding is ne it's next week. Can you imagine the embarrassment? If it happens. Well, I tell you, I can't believe it. It's disgusting. It's, it's perverted. Did you get your kids sorted out? Yeah, she's fine. Did you leave her with the neighbours then, or what? She's fine. Uh, look, do you want me to bring some bottle of lager? You've left it in the house on her own, haven't you? I said she's OK. She's only four years old. You can't do that. Look, she was fast asleep. She's got a drink and a bus. I've even left her the phone number. Anything could happen. You get her taken off you, you know. We've already got enough hassle with the police. Look, this has got nothing to do with you. So if you don't want to help me, no, just keep out of it, all right? Yeah. What pal Daisy, please? This year's the first time we do anything in months and months when we get caught. What are we going to say? No, stop panicking. Max and Susanna, we know what sort of people they are. They're not going to go running to Mum and Dad telling tales. They're too discreet for that. I want to come with you. No, George, look, just stay calm. I'll go home and sort Max and Susanna out. And then I'll marry Jules. No one has to find out. How can you be so sure the Phantoms won't say anything? It's all gonna come out. I know it is. What are they gonna do to us? I don't know. I've just gotta go back and try and sort things out. I think it's best if you stay away. Okay. Don't forget that you can catch up with all the goings-on on the close in the Brookside Omnibus at 5 past 5 tomorrow afternoon. And with the conclusion of the Olympics, weekday episodes of Brookside are all back at their normal time, starting on Tuesday at 8.30 here on 4. So, you finally decided to grace us with your presence. Look, Dad. Look, Dad, nothing. You've got some explaining to do, Sunshine. Where's Georgia? She's still at the cottage. I hitched it down last night. Well, what's she doing there? Isn't she coming back? Well, won't she be at the wedding? No, I don't think so. What is it with you two? What do you mean? Look, You're... what's going on, Nat? I've already had to apologize to Max and Susanna for you ruining their holiday. Now, what is happening? What do you mean, what's happening? You and Georgia, what is it with you two? Nothing. 
Oh, God, this is absolutely ridiculous. You you disappear a week before the wedding. You embarrass us in front of Max and Susanna. Oh, take now, it easy. Ah, the prodigal son returns. Get oh. now. I'm at the end of my patience with you. Embarrass you in front of Max and Susanna. What have they been saying? Nothing. They didn't have to. I promised them the cottage would be empty. You had no right going down there without telling us, Nat. So they didn't say anything, then? No. They're obviously too polite. Forget the Farnhams. What about Jules? Don't you think you owe her an explanation? Well, I'll go around one about something to eat, all right? Round there now. The poor girl's out of her mind with worry. She's been phoning us every five minutes. I'll be surprised if she's still talking to you. Walk out on the wedding rehearsal. You must tell her what's happening. You're getting married tomorrow. I've got it. Look, I just needed some space. Don't you think you could have timed your voyage of self-discovery a little better, Nat? It's for you, Tim. Saved by the bell. Is that best man, Tim? Well, let's hope so. Probably arranging strippers for the stag nights. Daniel. Where's Georgie? She's, uh, still at Grandpa's cottage. So she's not going to be here for the wedding? You know what your big sister's like. Yeah, pleases herself in every situation. To hell with everyone else. Was that the best man? Yeah. Was being the operative word. He won't do it under any circumstance. His bottle's gone. Well, what about the wedding? Well, he's not going to be there, so it looks like I need a new best man and fast. So who are you going to ask? I don't know. Both my best friends have cried off. Well, there must be someone else at college. No, no one would want my best man. What about you? Well, it save a lot of messing around. Me? Yeah. You can't have your father, his family. So? People have their brothers, don't they? <clears throat> They'll be expecting us at the wedding, you know. Oh, God, I feel such a hypocrite. Well, I suppose we could make our excuses. Oh, yes, we love to, but since we found your son and daughter having sex together... It still hasn't sunk in. I mean, I definitely saw what I thought I saw, didn't I? I don't think there can be much room for doubt. And him getting married tomorrow, I mean, I've heard of final flings, but with your own sister. And the poor girl he's marrying. Mm. I mean, what's she letting herself in for? I'll finish off here. Max. Uh, this is a bit awkward. Yeah, I'm sure it is. But I just wanted to explain. What you saw, you know, me and George. It's not what you think, really. Look, I don't know that there's any point to this. No, please, listen. You see... Me and her, we're not really brother and sister. She's adopted. Adopted? Yeah. Me and her, look, it, it started when she found out about mum and dad. You know, not being her real parents. There's really no need. No, I feel really guilty about what happened yesterday. Anyway, she, um, she was really cut up, and she turned to me, and, and like, we were just in our teens, and... Nat, it's all right. And, like, yesterday, we, we were just saying goodbye, and things got carried away. But it's over, between me and her. But if Mum and Dad found out, you know, I'm, I'm getting married tomorrow. They won't find out from us. Thanks, I really appreciate this. Hi. Just a quick word with Max. Oh, hi. I wanted to Hello. ask him. What are you doing here? I was just inviting Max and I stagged her. Me and Dan are sorting that. Anyway, you don't even know where we're going. Now go and see Jules. Leave this to me. All right, all right. Um, so I'll see you tonight, yeah? A couple of beers? Yes, sure. See you this evening. Bye. And thanks. Have a good night. To Jimmy, is to Jimmy. All right, love. Just lots of good days are quick going over, you know. All parts of the service to me, mate, some bad. You okay? You might as well, eh? 
Yeah, you know. Just thinking about what it's like being stuck behind bars. <laughs> What's put us all this on? Like her. He's probably locked up somewhere, isn't he? Wait, Jimmy. You're not still worrying about him, are you? Yeah, I'm still worrying about him. Because he's probably stuck in some cell. Because I shopped him to the busies. Jimmy, you had no choice. You nearly lost your job because of him. You were arrested. You could have been put away. Yeah, I know. But it still makes me a grass, though, doesn't it? Grass? Look, I've told you. I don't want you talking like that. It's prison talk. And what about Macca, eh? <laughs> what about him? Look, you tried to talk to him, didn't you? Tried to help. And he didn't want to know, did he? Because this type, they always know best, don't they, Jimmy? Look, you just forget about him and you keep away from his source in the future. You just worry about keeping your own nose clean. <sighs> Look, are you sure this snow zone thing's a good idea? He's brill. Wonder if they have snowboards. Snowboarding? Yeah. Is that cool? Uh, it might be dead cool to you, but for a bunch of grown men. A bunch of grown men and a 14-year-old best man. Can't be dragging him round pubs all night, Ollie. Well, if he sticks to Shandy. No, Ollie. In any way, there's a bar at this other place. Oh, great. So you lot are going to be holding up the bar all night? <laughs> it is a stag night, Dan. Can I invite Leo along then? Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, after falling out with his dad like that. Oh, come on. That wasn't Leo's fault. Anyway, I don't want to be left on my own all night. Please. Well, I don't suppose it'll do any harm. All right, then, so long as his father doesn't mind. Yes, great. See you later. Yeah, OK, bye. Be careful. Snow Zone with J.C. Bradley, I ask you. Come on, you old fuddy-duddy. You can put up with J.C. Bradley for one night if it means the wedding's going ahead. Yeah, true. And you better get that disgusting picture up as well in case we have any unexpected guests. Yeah, all right. But as soon as the wedding's over, back in the garage. But what am I supposed to think? I didn't mean to upset you. Walking out on me like that. How do you think I'm going to react? I thought you didn't want to marry me. I don't know what came over me. I think it was just nerves. We're meant to be getting married tomorrow. This is the first time I've seen you in ten days. I'm sorry. Oh. If it isn't the great Soprendo, him and his famous disappearing act. Oh, Mr. Bradley. Don't Mr. Bradley me. Have you any idea of the trouble you've caused around here? Our Julie's been at the end of her tether. And as for her poor mother... Dad, me and Nat are trying to talk. Well, you know where I am if you need me, love. And I'll see you later at your stag do. What, you're coming? Your dad just phoned to invite me. And I'll be there, all right. Just keep an eye on you, make sure you don't pull any more of your stunts. Kevin MacDonald. Yeah, he was arrested at La Luth in Manor Park yesterday. Yeah, that's him. Um, is it all right if I have a word, like? Yeah, but I need to talk to him. Probation officer. Yeah, go ahead. Better give me his number. One five-minute phone call. Didn't I deserve more than that? I'm sorry. And then you just waltz back here as if nothing's happened. I didn't know where you were, what you were thinking. Jules. No! What is it? What is it? I'll tell you what it is. I'm not sure about us anymore. I don't think I can rely on you. I'm For sorry. God's sake, you left me standing at the altar. It was just a rehearsal. And how do I know you're not going to do the same thing tomorrow? I won't, I promise. And you disappear. I don't see you for days on end. God knows what you're up to, who you're with. Look, I told you I was at the cottage with my sister. How was I supposed to know that? The things that were going through me mind. I'm sorry. I've really screwed things up. I thought you'd found someone else. Another woman. Oh. Promise me you were with Georgia. Just you and her. I swear. Just me and Georgia, no one else. You still love me, don't you? You still want to marry me? Of course I want to marry you. I love you, don't I? 
Sure, I remember you. Six months for burglary, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that's right. And if I'm not mistaken, you had a habit as well. Yeah, smack. Uh, that's what landed me in Nick. But it's all behind me now. That little spell at Her Majesty's pleasure sort of out, you know. I'm glad to hear it. I haven't taken drugs since I came out. And I've got a job now. Well, I've got two jobs, actually. Well, one of them's only temporary, you know, uh, looking after a shop for a mate while he's on holiday. And you've got a permanent address? Yeah, back home with the missus, like. Great. Stories like yours make my job worthwhile. Right. That's all very much. Well, thanks a lot for dropping by and letting me know how you're doing. Hold on. Uh, I haven't come to talk about me. Oh. No, it's, uh, it's Macca. Macca. Mm. Kevin MacDonald. You are his probation officer, aren't you? You know I can't discuss that. Now, if you wouldn't mind... Listen, I just want to know what's going to happen to him. I'm sorry, Mr. Corkill. Come ahead. He's a mate of mine. You and him are friends? Yeah. Well, no. Well, are you or aren't you? Well, I know him all right, but we're not mates. So why are you so concerned about him, then? Because it's my fault he was nicked. Cleaned up your act, have you? Hey, hold on. Macca and the drugs had nothing to do with me. But it was your fault that he got arrested. Yeah. Because I shopped him, didn't I? You did what? Look, he was dealing next door to where I work. I was getting the blame. I tried talking to him, I tried to warn him, but he was having none of it. What else was I supposed to do? Sounds like you did all you could. Yeah, well, anyway. Look, if I can vouch for him at anything, you know, he's not a bad lad. Just down on his luck, like. Look, between you and me, Kevin's facing a pretty long sentence. You are? He was a persistent offender with previous convictions. When he was arrested, he had gear on him. Quite a bit, in fact. God. Why didn't I keep my big mouth shut? And let him carry on dealing, feeding his drug habit. Now he's in the system, at least there's a chance he can get some help, clean himself up. You've done him a favor. I haven't done him any favors. I was inside, remember, I know what it's like. Charlie, smack, where's dope, you name it, you can get it just like that. He's gonna come out of that place doped up to the eyeballs. And you know something? No one is going to give two short ones. They're going to wait until he gets caught dealing again, and then they're going to send him straight back to his cell. Goes round in circles. That's the system, mate. I haven't helped him at all. In fact, I've probably made things worse for him. <laughs> You obviously couldn't care less leaving a kid of that age on her own again. Keep your voice down, will you? Oh, frighten someone all over here. Nice to know your conscience is clear, isn't it? Look, Mo, it's only for a couple of hours. Oh, Katie will be home soon. God, you're heading for a fall, you are. Look, will you mind your own business and I'll mind mine, OK? It's not you I'm worried about, soft girl. It's that kid of yours. Oh, am I going to have you buzzing down here all night or what? Hiya. Bottle of lager, please. Uh, you're all right, Mo. I'll get this. Excuse me for breathing. You all right? Yeah, sound. When you were in here the other week, I remember your face, too bad. I bet you say that to all the fellas. No, of course not. I'm only joking. So, uh, you're here on your own, then? I mean, a couple of mates later, bad night out, like. Oh, right. Well, enjoy yourself. Don't worry. I intend to. See ya. You can put your tongue away now. You what? Before someone trips over it. No, I want to know. Where have you been, Jimmy? Leave it, Jackie. Where have you been? Just get off my back, will you? No, I won't get off your back. Look, we promised Simbad we'd keep an eye on this place, didn't we? And after all he's done for us, I think it's the least we can do, don't you? And you're swanning off round the uh, place like Lord Mug. Well, I think it's a bit late to be opening up, don't I you? I haven't been swanning round the place at all. Oh, right. Well, where have you been, then? I went to say about Macca, OK? You what? Macca! Don't you think he's caused enough trouble round here? I just had to know, OK? It was killing me grassing on him like that. Well, he's going to prison, do you know that? And it's all down to me and my big mouth. Satisfied? Yeah, 
I used to be a bit of a lad myself. If the fancy took me, I was up and away. But that was before I met Anne. You see, Nat, you're a family man now. You've got commitments. Well, not for another 14 hours, he hasn't, so same again. <laughs> cheers. Stick one in there. Yeah, cheers, man. Actually, I'll just have a half. A half? I don't usually drink beer. That's no way to toast young Nat. Here, get him a pint. Uh, yeah, OK. That's a spirit. Tell me, Max, are you a family man yourself? Yes, certainly am. Fortune. Hey, that ain't that. Four kiddies, eh? Magnificent. Come on, you lot. You're not having a go. Hey, it's cracker. Well, there's a law against drinking and driving. We'll just watch. <laughs> Boring. Come on, let's have a go. Hang on, sir. I'll have a go with you. Hey, what sort of a stag night is this? Get that down, yeah. Can't have you going in there. Might damage his wedding tackle, eh, lads? <laughs> Well, you never. Yeah, you should have seen his face. God, you're a case you are. <laughs> Excuse me for interrupting, but is there any chance of you doing some work and run off my feet? All right, misery guts. Look, I'll get off, eh? It doesn't look like my mates are turning up. Oh, no, hang around. I don't want to get you into any trouble. Oh, well, take no notice of it. Are you sure? Yeah, stay around. You never know, you're not. Might even give you a dance later on. Hey, not a bad lad you've got here, you know, Ollie? Yeah, well, we like him. Most of the time. <laughs> Very good, Dad. Ah, he'll be all right, this one. He'll make a good husband for our jewels. He better add or he'll have me to answer to. <laughs> well, seriously. I know we've had our ups and downs this past couple of weeks, but I know how much you mean to our jewels, and I know how happy you're going to make her. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but I've got a little surprise for you. I know you're not exactly flush at the minute, so I took it upon myself to book a nice little honeymoon for you. <laughs> hey, I'm going to do my cellar here. Choose one. Yeah. What? Go on, choose an envelope. Go on, anyone. <laughs> it's Grenada. Bullseye. The other two were Skeggy and Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no. I'm only joking, lad. Calm. I've already paid for it now. That's very generous of you, JC. Part of the family now, isn't he, eh? <laughs> to Nat. All the best, son. To Nat and Jules. Nat and Jules. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who we have here. It's the Neff Simpson. Hey, I thought you were supposed to be collecting glasses. Oh, give us a break, will you? I'm enjoying myself. And Muggins here is doing all the work. Just go to the loo, eh? Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Look at you. You're making a fool of yourself. Terry will go mad messing around when you're supposed to be working. Yeah, well, you're the one who's going to look a fool. You are. At closing time, when you go home on your own again. Are you going back to his? No, he's coming home with me. You've only just met him. You don't know him from Adam. And what about Louise? Look, I've already told you. Keep out of it, all right? You meh. You're not on a stag, do. It is. It's Danny's brother's wedding. He's getting married tomorrow. So where's all the people? And why aren't you drinking? It's not that kind of stag night. It's not that kind of stag night. You stuck up get. I still owe you one for stitching me with that project. It's not my fault that you're too stupid to work out. You what? You're calling me stupid. Come on, then. Me and you now. Come on, Danny, let's go now. Stay out of here, you are. Give you a smack. Come ahead, then. Right then, Ollie, we'll show these kids how it's done. Hey, you two. Hey, pack it in. Hey, pack it in. Daniel, what's going on? Get you. You're gonna get no one, sunshine. Who's that? It's an old lady. School bully. Toffee knows get. Old lady, eh? Live on the Croft Park estate, do you? Yeah, what if I do? Tell me old lady's kid. You know me, Alma? Oh, I know him, all right. His middle name's Trouble. This yobbo's dad broke me charge Anne's nose. Obviously runs in the family. Now go on, clear off. Fuck me. I'm gonna get you. Clear off before I turn your backside. Bloody yobbo. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. But well, what was all that about? Nothing. He's just a bully.
Has anyone ever told you how gorgeous you are? Well, not in the last ten minutes, no. I thought I heard someone. Yeah, it's me, I was parched. Yeah, me too. Beer always has that effect on me. <laughs> Still, not a bad night, eh? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Big day tomorrow. Yeah. Big day, all right. It's okay now, Louise. Mommy's home. So you be a good girl and go to sleep, okay? All right, close your eyes. No. Oh, God. Mommy! What? Look what you've gone and done now, Louise. You've gone and frightened him off, haven't you? Why is it that you have to ruin everything? It's always the same, isn't it? You just ruin my life. You ruin everything. Louise, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Queen. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shout at you. Mummy loves you. Come here. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. My life's a mess. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, OK. Just came up a bit queasy. We should have had some breakfast. Yeah, I wasn't hungry. Well, better get back in. Your mother will be worried. Just a couple more minutes. Oh, the time's getting on. Please. You're having second thoughts, aren't you? Look, Nat, you're about to make the biggest commitment of your life. If you're not 100% sure... I've got to go through with this. You don't have to do anything. If you are having second thoughts, and you're going away last week makes me think you might be, then for God's sake, call it off. I know it'll cause trouble now, but if your heart's not in it, believe me, it'll cause a lot more trouble later. Forget that lot in there. You're the only one who matters. Look, Nat, an hour from now, you're going to be married. Now, if that's what you want, then fair enough. But if you don't, then walk away. Remember what's happened to Georgia's marriage. Yeah, Georgia. Where is she when I need her? Okay, Dad. 
Let's get back in there. We've got a wedding to go to. Senat? Oh, talking to me now, are you? Where's your posh boyfriend? What are you doing? I'm gonna get even with that Meph Simpson. It's not here. It's at his brother's wedding. I know. I'm checking the place is empty. Why? I'm gonna stitch the snobby get. You what? Lord Snooty isn't gonna be feeling so clever when he comes home and finds his precious computer's gone. You're gonna rob his computer? Yeah, and you're gonna help me. What? Break in there? No way. I need someone to keep Dixie, and you're gonna help me. All right, Sir Ned. Listen, you little bottler, stop squealing or I'll give you a crack. I can't do it. My dad'll kill me if he finds out. He's not gonna find out, is he? And you owe me, remember, for stitching me up with the headmaster. That wasn't me, that was Danny. Well then, we can both get even with him, can't we? Come, Ed. Move it, you little ming. All right, I'll keep lookout, but I'm not going in. Come, Ed, round the back. You don't think she'll make a dramatic entrance, do you? Who? Georgia, of course, to stop the wedding. Like Dustin Hoffman. Oh. Sounds like she's missed a chance. She looks like an angel. She does look lovely, doesn't she? Beautiful. This is it, big brother. No turning back now. I'm hanging the washing out. Oh. Oh. Quiet life. What are you looking at? Come on, let's go. Shoot it and stay still. You're going nowhere. There it is. Lord Snooty's pride and joy. Therefore, on this their wedding day. We pray with them that, strengthened and guided by God, they may fulfill his purpose for the whole of their earthly life together. But first, I am required to ask anyone who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. She started to then show things close. On the head, son. Yeah! <laughs> Calm down, Jono. Oh, come on, let's get out of here. You're going nowhere. All right, Sir Ned. Stop whinging, will you? We're both going to get Lord Snooty's computer. Well, first of all, as it's a wedding, we're both going to get ourselves a little drink. The vows you are about to take are to be made in the name of God, who is the judge of all and knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. All stand. Nathan Oliver Simpson, will you take Julie Diana Bradley to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Well. I've just called for me ball, uh, kicked it over the fence, you know. Look. Oh, right, yeah, it's just I saw them all getting off to the wedding before. Oh, of course, yeah. I'll nip round for it myself, eh? Okay. Come on, Lou, let's get you home. See ya. Someone's gone round the back end now. Stop, Miff. 
from next door. What's he doing? He's after that party ball. Snobby gets. Before we have finished, then. Take it easy. Get that down, yeah. No, come here, let's go. I said we're having a drink. Now get that down, yeah. Uh, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> Look what I've found. Bet you can drink this. Champagne? Might as well have a party, eh? Sailed through his vows without much bother, didn't he? Mm, no problem at all. <laughs> Poor Jules. You've been married five minutes and already feeling sorry. Well done, bro. No, oh, well done you. You've been a star. Yeah, you haven't heard my speech yet. Oh, I'm sure it'll be brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. You must be very proud, JC. Very proud. I'm relieved. There were times last week I wasn't sure we'd get him up that aisle. <laughs> Except they're made for each other, aren't they? I hope you don't think I'm intruding. That's just passing. I'll be waiting for the bingo, like. Dressed up for the bingo, aren't you? Eh? There's nothing wrong in taking pride in your appearance. Quite right, love. My sentiments entirely. <laughs> anyway, now that I'm here, I might as well stay for the reception, eh? And toast the happy couple. Come on, you two. Isn't it about time you kissed? I've got a new camera, especially. Come on. Come on. Oh, my little angel. Do you think it's alive? Thing under Anne's hat. <laughs> I thought there was something different about her. No, no. Do you reckon it's a wig? He's a Pope of Catholic. There's not going to be anything left of this mascara. <laughs> Come on, you three. Gather round the newlyweds. A Simpson family photo. <laughs> there you are. Do you reckon? Wicked. Good for the mozzie as well. The old bag. <laughs> Come on. Get that other bottle of champagne. <laughs> Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> Take care of our little girl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please. Please. Now, there's just one more thing for me to do before I sit down. A little something from me and my wife, Anne. Give the happy couple the start in life they deserve. Now, as you all know, I've got a nice little development down near Otterspool. Reasonably priced townhouses. And if anybody wants any more information... John, just hand over the keys. <laughs> yeah, sure. The key to your own two-bedroom love nest. There you are. Dad. <laughs> Cavity wall insulation, double glazing, a lot. Look at this Good. Thanks for your attention. Now, it's my job to introduce to you the best man. Or should I say, best boy. Young Danny Simpson here. Over to you. Thank you, Mr Bradley. Very moving speech, I'm sure you'll all agree. Looks like most of the guests are moving next door to the bar. <laughs> the cheeky little... <laughs> that was a very clever speech, young man. Very good. You didn't mind the joke? Not at all. Hey, I have got a sense of humour, you know. 
You've got a right one in your hands here, Ollie. Sharp as a tack. Tell me about it. He runs rings round me. <laughs> oh, they make such a lovely couple, don't they? Yes. So well bred. And he's such a gentleman. You know where you are with that sort. Do you think so? Of course. I mean, just look at the way they're ill themselves. Mark my words, young Jew's there. She's got herself a good one. Hey, come on, you two. It's your song. What are you waiting for? Come on, Nat. I haven't finished my pint. Oh, oh, I'll take that. Go on. Come on. We're all waiting for you. Come on, Nat. It's on you. Just like Fred and Ginger, so much in love. Oh, JC, how would you like the pleasure of me on the dance floor? Sounds like an offer I can't refuse, eh? <laughs> After you, young lady. Oh, young lady? Oh, a true gentleman. <laughs> Come on, anyone can dance. Everyone's got rhythm, even you, Ollie. Poor Dad. Looks like she's going to eat him alive. <laughs> Susanna, can I borrow your Max? Oh, of course. Your Max. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? Well, you just have to make do with me, I'm afraid. Great. <laughs> Come on. Hello, stranger. What? Oh, all these people, eh? We've hardly spoken to each other all night. Yeah, it's been a bit hectic, hasn't it? Hasn't sunk in yet. Me and you married. All our friends here. It's perfect, isn't it? This is the happiest day of my life. I love you, Nat. I love you too. God, Georgia. Oh, great, she's turned up. <laughs> I feel sick. Come ahead, it's dark. Uh, wanna go home? You can go home when we've got the computer. Uh, can't you just leave it? No way. We're gonna teach that Simpson a lesson. Come ahead. Oh, I feel sick. God, what's wrong with you? Can't you take your ale? Come ahead, give us an hand. We'll stick it in this. This man's enjoying himself. Looks like he's in danger of being suffocated. <laughs> Come on, lad, get up the buffy, fill your boots. Yeah, I'll just finish this. Uh, me too. Uh, I'm still a bit full from this afternoon. Excellent meal. Well, get some of these down here then. Work up an appetite, eh? Oh, it's a lovely buffet. This lunch meat here is delicious. It's uh, mortadella. Mortadella? It's Italian for lunch and meat, love. I didn't know the Italians had a taste in for spam. I'll have to ask for it next time down the Aldi. <laughs> oh, I'm made up. Georgia decided to come. Mm, me too. It wouldn't have been the same without her. Oh, I think it's great the way Aaron and Nat are so close. No, it was happening. Even when they were toddlers. You know, it's a funny thing, Susanna, but I actually gave birth to them at exactly the same time of day. I'm sorry? Well, Nine minutes past twelve, eighteen months apart, of course. Maybe that explains why they're so close, then. Yeah. Must be uh, something in their stars. Hmm? Oh, Louise, there's a sandwich here and a glass of milk in case you get thirsty, OK? Now, Auntie Casey will be back soon because I've got to go to work. So be a good girl and go to sleep, OK? And when I come back, I'll bring you a treat. It'll be nice. Now, be a good girl. You go to sleep. Good night. So they are brother and sister. No doubt about it. Bella's just been going on about giving birth to them. Nat lied to us. 
obviously to cover up the truth. We're supposed to just stand here and do nothing about it. What else can we do? Oh, God knows. The whole thing just leaves a bad taste in your mouth, doesn't it? I mean, the man is getting married one minute, having an affair with his sister the next. Oh, Susanna, looks like you're going to be the next girl down the aisle. <laughs> oh, Max. Oh, God. <laughs> It's oh, awful. Come on. Where? Home. Oh, not standing watching those two all night. Come on. I'm really pleased for you, Jules. You look after that little brother of mine. I will. Thanks for everything, Georgia. Come on. Give the old man a dance. God, have you seen that dance? Are you going to make that one your last one? It's my wedding night. Yeah, and it's my wedding night too. And you've got a very long night ahead of us. Slip away while nobody notices. Okay, well, look, one more drink, all right? A nightcap. Oh, look, go on. I'll be up in ten minutes. <laughs> promise? Yeah, promise. I'll be waiting. Don't be long. <laughs> and he just walked straight out the door. I didn't even say goodbye. Too bad, nice. He's sort of worth bothering with, but he was really good-looking, really witty, and he had a dead nice smile. And he's dead not interested. You are? Oh, do me a favour, eh, Sammy? We were getting on really well. That was before he knew you had a kid. Who wants to be knocking around with someone like that? Someone who's not going to give your Louise the time of day? If I was you, I wouldn't touch him with a barge bow. I want to get some ice. through with that. Why? Matt. Why didn't you turn up earlier? You could have stopped me. Let's sit now. I've done it. It's too late. There's no turning back. You said it was what you wanted. What I want. You. I want you. Stop me. You should have stopped me. I just want to be with you. I know. Well, let's go then. What? You and me, we'll go now. We'll, we'll disappear. We can't. Hey, what are you two doing in here? Was everything all right? Yeah. It's just had one too many, eh? Give us a hand, Dad. We'll take him upstairs. Come on, old son. Let's get you out of here. Lovely jewels. She'd be wondering where you got to. God, look who's just walked in. All right, bottle of lager, please. You all right? Sound. Um, just a sec. Uh, talk about last night. What about it? Well, I'm sorry. What for? I'm a misunderstanding. You what? The little girl, Louise. <sighs> Yeah, you kept that one quiet, didn't you? Yeah. Well, her mum should have been there to look after her, but when she was out clubbing. What? She's not your kid? No. Well, she's my sister's, Katie. Oh, right, I see. Bit of a passion killer, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe some other time then, eh? Yeah, I'll keep you to that. All right, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see ya. God, how low can you get? You what? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I've got nothing to be ashamed of. I just want to have a good laugh like everyone else. Even if it means lying about your own kid. God, you make me sick. Well, you make me sick. God, you're just a jealous cow. With someone. Never mind. You're here now. I can make up for lost time. I'm sorry. What? I've left my wallet downstairs in the bar. Oh, Nat. I'll be five minutes.
enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm actually. Now's a good laugh. He's got a dead interest in job. Sammy, I don't want to. Oh, is that green cheese I can smell? You what? Well, when's the last time you copped up with someone with their own company? Oh, and I suppose he told you he was a millionaire as well, eh? God, you are jealous, aren't you? Just because I meet a nice fellow who wants to make a fuss of me and take me away for weekends. Oh, it sounds great, Sammy, but there's just one problem, isn't there? Oh, what's that? Louise, laughing boy over there thinks you haven't got a kid. Yeah, and he'd be none the wiser if you keep your gob shut. Oh, and what are you going to do when you run out of babysitters, eh? And when your Katie finds out you lied and said Louise was his, he won't want to know you. He's going to drop you like a hot brick. Why didn't you come to bed with me? I'm sorry, I didn't realize how much I had. Everyone kept buying me drinks. Not a way to start our marriage, eh? Everything went so well yesterday. The reception, Danny's speech. Yeah. All our friends and family there, and Georgia turning up like that. It was a perfect day. I can't tell you how happy I was. And you know what? What? I fell in love with you all over again yesterday. I realised just how much you mean to me. Jules. I mean, I know we've had our problems. I know the past few weeks haven't been easy. You know what it's been like. Exams, Mum and Dad moving house. That's why I went to the cottage, to try and get my head together. I know, and I understand that. But yesterday I thought, this is it. The end of our troubles, the start of our new life together. Last night was meant to be the most special part of the whole day. I'm sorry. But you left me on my own. Even if you just held me, told me that you loved me, anything just made me feel wanted. What do you mean? We haven't made love for weeks. We've hardly been near each other. Last night was our chance to put everything right. But what happens? You get drunk in the bar and leave me crying into me pillow. You can pick up my blouse from the dry cleaners. You got the ticket? Mm-hmm. I'll have to owe you five pounds and make sure they've got that wine stain off. All oh, right. Anything else while I'm there? <laughs> no, thanks. Right. See you in an hour. Well, you're not going to work? Well, yes, I am, but, well, later. Well, I just thought, with the house being empty, you and I, we haven't had the chance to cement our relationship. Oh, uh, 
Oh, well, in that case, uh, hurry back. <laughs> right. <laughs> as fast as I can. I see the Simpsons aren't back yet. Ah, uh, yeah, they were spending the night in that hotel, weren't they? Oh, I suppose it's still early. Hmm. Wonder who slept with who, eh? Oh, my. And how Belle and Ollie would react if they ever found out. Oh, <gasps> some bad thinking about. Oh, now look at that. I'm sorry, you can't leave that there. Mr. Morris? Mrs. Farnham, if you could just budge up a bit and then Mr. Farnham can get his car out. Then he can come in and get started. Get started? With the decorating. What decorating? We were having the house done. Didn't I tell you? No, you didn't tell me. Well, I'm sure I mentioned it. I'm sure you didn't mention it. I mean, it was only a couple of years ago when he, we had it done the last time. We? Well, yes. Me and... Patricia. Exactly. And Patricia doesn't live here anymore. I do. So we could get started in the living room first. Mm-hmm. And you won't forget my dry cleaning, will you? No, I won't forget. And I won't rush back, either. So much for us cementing our relationship. Oh, what are you two giggling at? Oh, I know. It's all this wedding business making you dead romantic, isn't it? Morning. 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 <laughs> Just black coffee for me, please. Oh, I can see some of us enjoyed the big day better than others, eh? Well... <laughs> Never learn, will you all? Talk about grape in the grain, eh, Dad? Just eat your Weetabix, you. Wonder what's keeping the happy couple. Ooh, I wouldn't like to say. Not with young Danny present. <laughs> Just think, Belle, this time next year, me and you could be grandmothers. <gasps> Little Mike running around the place. <laughs> what a wonderful thought. <laughs> well, look who it isn't. So how have the happy couple this morning? Fine. <laughs> Great. Been working up an appetite, eh? <laughs> John, don't be bolder. We didn't think you'd be able to make it. Thought you might be having a, a lie-in. Don't you? <laughs> Come on, sit yourselves down, babes. And you, Nat. Part of the family now. <laughs> gotcha. John. No time, I haven't had any shoes in a minute. Oh, is that sister of yours going to shut up or what? I'll leave her alone. She's just in a good mood. The numbers come up on the lottery or something? No, she's met a fella. Oh, yes, that's why. She copped off with them the other night in the loop. Oh, yeah, and she reckon she's gonna see him again, does she? Yeah, why? Cos most of the fellas in that place are only interested in getting drunk and getting a good group, you know, on the dance floor. Do you reckon? Yeah. I've got the brains between the legs. Oh, but he's supposed to be dead nice. He's supposed to ring her. Oh, aye. I'll get it. It'll be for me. Yeah, that might be him now. Jackie, it's for you. Surprise, surprise. You're going to the airport in a limo, aren't you? Don't even think about it. Think about what? Old boots and tin cans. I've had enough of your tricks today. Yeah, but it's part of my duties. I read it in a book that I bought. Ah, well, at least you're doing it in style, eh? And why not? Once in a lifetime, isn't it? Yeah, you two don't know how lucky you are. Two weeks in the sun. Have you seen the brochure? Oh, yeah. It looks gorgeous. White sand, blue sea. Hammocks strung between the coconut trees, sound of the steel band. And best of all, being with the one you love. Oh, I bet you can't wait, can you, babe? If you have half as good a time as me and your mother had on our honeymoon, two weeks in real, we only left the hotel room once in the whole two weeks. <laughs> and that was to go to the chemist. <laughs> and it was half-day closing time. <laughs> yeah, this one was born nine months later, was she? I'm <laughs> sorry. I need the toilet. Oh, it's all been too much for her. All right, son. Oh, yeah. You okay? Uh, yeah. Sam, why? Look, a bit lost standing there on your own, mate. Just waiting for Danny to come back. Have a game of footy, like. Not back from the wedding yet? Yeah, no, uh, I don't think so. Anyway, I might as well get off. Hey, you see me, Dad? Listen, if I see the Simos. You what? I'll tell Danny you were looking for him. All right, yeah, nice one. Busy being over. I don't know. I've been watching the place all morning. They haven't come back from the wedding yet. 
Got a nice surprise when they come back, then. Come, Ed. Where are you going? We're going to sell a computer. Oh, can't you just dump it or something? You meth. We could get over 100 quid for that. Well, you can sell it, then. You can keep all the money. I don't want to be involved. Too late. You are. I don't know. Let's not hang around and find out, eh? Come on. We'll go and sell the computer. Jimmy! I'm all right. What are you doing here? I thought we might have a chat. He's a marker. It's nothing to do with Kevin MacDonald. I want to talk about you. My probation finished months ago, mate. You're okay. I think so. Do you want to talk? I've been married today. I'm already crying in the ladies' toilets. It's mad. I don't know what's wrong with him. What do you mean? I don't know. We haven't had sex since the time me and you had that talk. He's come up with every excuse under the sun. Work, your mum and dad moving. And last night, our wedding night, we still didn't do it. We didn't even sleep in the same bed. What's the matter with him? Has he said anything to you? No. Nothing. When you were with him last week, you'd tell me if you knew something, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course I would. Once you and him are on that plane, on your own, you'll see the difference. And let's face it, Jules, if he didn't want to be with you, he wouldn't have married you in the first place, would he? Yeah, I suppose. Thanks, George. What for? For being a mate. A really good one. Yeah, I'll tell you called. Who was that? Uh, Rachel's mate. I told her she was in Bristol. So has this Noel fella not been in touch yet? No, he said he'd ring this morning. If I was a tenner for every fella, that promised me that. Hey, he's not some fly-by night, you know. In La Luth on the cop. Oh, obviously a dead classy fella then. Oh, Jackie, don't be tight. You don't even know him. Yeah, that's right. And if you must know, he's a businessman. He's got his own company and everything. Oh, travels the world as well, does he? Yeah. How do you know? Because I've met so many losers in that place. What? I'll get it. Get real, will you, Sammy? There's no fella's lying to you. You'd probably never see him again in your life. It's for you. It's no. Hi. Where's Jules? She's gone upstairs to pack for the honeymoon. How is she? Upset. Confused. Yeah. How are you? Upset. Confused. I'm sorry. Why don't you come back? I thought you might have needed me. I certainly got that impression last night. I needed you yesterday morning. It's a bit late now. I told you why I came back. I thought Max and Susanna might have said something. I didn't want you to face that on your own. Yeah, well, you don't have to worry about that. I've sorted it. I told them you were adopted. You did what? I had to tell them something, didn't I? <sighs> and they believed you? Yeah, well, they promised they won't say anything to Mum and Dad. Oh, that's a relief. This is crazy. What is? Me, getting married. Gone on honeymoon after what we did last night. My wedding night. Yeah, well, how do you think I feel? Jules sees me as her big mate. God, George, what's gonna happen to us? I don't know. You know, it should be you and me on that plane. A one-way ticket's far away from here as possible. Why ask me? I mean, I haven't given a talk to anyone in my life. You talked to Kevin MacDonald? Yeah. A lot of good it did him. But you had a go, didn't you? Try to help. <sighs> Look, I just wanted him away from me work, that's all. He was getting me into trouble. I think there's more to it than that. There isn't. You cared what happened to him, that's why you came to see me. I was watching me on back. Then why I come looking for him once he was arrested? <sighs> all right, so I talked to him. I tried to get him to see sense. So one lad, no big deal, is it? It's a start. Yeah, now you want me to go and talk to a room full of scallies. 
I mean, why are they going to want to listen to me? Because you talk their language, and because you've got something to say for yourself. I heard you yesterday. You were passionate. Jimmy, I thought you said you were going to do the grass. Oh, um, oh, sorry. I didn't realise you were with someone. Hi, love. Uh, Paul Heary. Remember him? Probation service? Jimmy, what have you been up to? Well, how'd you get on? Great. He's taking me out tonight. Great. Where are you going? Uh, some restaurant. Lalouette. You are? That's not posh, there. Oh, Jed's push be really nice. Yeah, well, that's the sort of fella he is. Yeah, all right, he's point taken. Maybe I got him wrong, eh? So what time are you going out, then? Uh, he's picking me up at eight. But, well, there's just one problem. I haven't got a babysitter. Yeah, well, don't look at me. I'm off out myself. I'll look after Louise. I've got no rehearsal tonight. Oh, thanks, Katie. You go out and enjoy yourself, eh? He sounds really nice. Yeah, he is. He's lovely. I mean, most fellas don't want to know who got a kid, do they? He must be really into you. Come on, Dad. I want to see the limo. Yeah, five minutes. I just need another coffee. Come on, I'll take you. Hey, shouldn't you be packing? The car's already here. Yeah, a couple of minutes, Mummy. Well, make sure it is a couple of minutes. We don't want JC on the walk, Mum. Mum. Coffee? Yeah, cheers. Limo, honeymoon, new pad. Whole life's mapped out before me. <laughs> Sit back and enjoy the ride, eh? I don't want it, Dad. I don't want any of it. Look, I know JC's a pushy so-and-so, but he means well. He only wants the best for his daughter. I'm not talking about JC. Sorry? I let myself get pushed into this. The wedding, everything. Nat. I should never have gone through with it. I should never have married her. I should have listened to you yesterday and walked away when I had the chance. with druggies and everything. Young offenders, some of whom have a drug habit. Yeah, but he's left all that behind him. He's clean now. I know. That's why he's in a good position to talk to them. Give them the benefit of your experience. Look, um, I'm not sure about all of this. Yeah, we want to forget the past few years, you know, the drugs, everything else we've been through. We just, we want to move on. This is moving on. Getting something positive out of those wasted years, I really think it would be good for you. Maybe even help you make sense out of what you've been through. You reckon? Maybe, maybe not. But give it a good think, eh? The both of you? Yeah. Yeah, we will, Devo. Good. Because I think you've got a lot to offer. And I think you've got a lot to gain as well. Did they get the wine stain out? Max, the wine stain? They struck the walls. <laughs> well spotted, darling. Have you any idea how much this costs? Yes, it's in here. Look, do you like this one? Really brighten the place up, wouldn't it? But... Hmm? And this one's for the hall. Haven't decided on the bedrooms yet. This... Is ridiculous. All this is a waste of money. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. What shall I start on the furniture? No way. But every time I walk in a room, I feel like a stranger. None of this stuff is mine. Susanna, I know things aren't perfect for you. And I can just about live with you changing the walls, but the furniture stays. But this is my home now. I want to feel comfortable living here. This is my home as well. Don't I have any say in any of this? <laughs> it tastes like this. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Where have you been? The car's waiting outside. I was talking to my dad. You haven't even packed, Jess, and you're getting changed, or what? I'm not going with you. What? I said I'm not going.
cheese or ham? You what? On your bussy, cheese or ham? Oh, whatever's easiest, look. Cheese or cheese, then. Just thinking about what that pull for us had there. All right. Yeah. All that stuff about my past. When I was doing the drugs, like. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's really weird, isn't it? We never talk about it. Not surprised, Jimmy. It's not something to be proud of, is it? Yeah, I know, but. Well, I never even think about any of it. It's as if I've just sort of blanked it all out. It's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? Well, has it, then? I mean, love, I've got all this stuff bottled up here, and maybe I should be talking about it. Why? You're doing fine as things are. But what Paul said about making sense of things, all that crap I went through, and if I can help kids like Macca, well... I mean, you said yourself I did the right thing shopping him. Oh, yes. If he can stop him selling drugs to other kids, yes. But this talk's different, Jimmy. No, love, it's not. It's still about me having a go, innit, eh? Trying to do something useful. <sighs> You're gonna do it, aren't you? You're gonna do this talk? I'm thinking about it, yeah. <sighs> I just hope you know what you do when that's all. <sighs> Jackie, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. I'm just living day to day, just as I always do. But I've got a chance here to do something. Something positive. Help myself and maybe someone else. So I might as well give it a go, eh? I don't see why we have to die of mine. Because I'm not humping her all the way to my mass. My arm's killing me. Can't we just leave it out here like last night? And what happens if it rains, eh? Or it gets wet? We won't be able to sell it then. But we tried selling it today, no one was interested. Yeah, well, we'll sell it tomorrow, defo. We're going to town. Now get up there, move it. <sighs> Can't you just leave it out here, eh? I said get up there, or I'll give you a smack. <sighs> but me dad'll kill me if he finds it. And I'll kill you if you don't get up there. Now move it, you ming, or I'll tell everyone it was you who did the burglary. Oh, you'll have to give us a bunk. Hurry up. Is it all clear? Yeah, hurry up. Come, Ed. Oh, my dad gets back from where. But why? You wouldn't understand. Oh, thanks very much. I didn't mean it like that. It's me. It's my problem. What problem? Tell me. I can't. You can't? What do you mean, you can't? We're meant to be going on a honeymoon. I'm sorry. I don't understand. What's going on, Nat? There's something. There's something that's stopping me. And it's not just with you, it's with anyone. You're not making sense. For God's sake. I'm trying, I really am. I'm so sorry. Please. Don't do this, please. I'm so sorry. Nat. Oh, God. Yeah, stick this over it. Can you see anything? Nah, looks like just looks like a load of old clothes. Yeah, put this in there. Where'd you get this? Lord Smithy's place. It's lying next to the computer. Oh. What's in it? A few floppy disks and um, some papers. Might have a few of them school projects in it. I don't like this tin. I mean, all this rock gear in my room. It's only for tonight, isn't it? We'll sell it tomorrow. We better that, because if me dad finds that in here, he'll kill me. I mean it. Why couldn't you talk some sense into it? I tried, but his mind's made up. Oh, God. Well, what did he say? Oh, that he's made a mistake, that he should never have gone through with it. What the hell's he playing at? Who in God's name are they? 
I don't know, but they're gonna miss their flight. Ollie, you're gonna have to say something. Oh, me? I wouldn't bother. Oh, my God. At last. Where's Ubi? What's the matter, babe? Jules, where's your bags? They're upstairs. Look what I made. Well, what the hell is he doing up there? You've got a honeymoon to go on. I'm not going. Jules? I'm sorry, but it's over. What do you mean, it's over? The marriage. It's finished. <laughs>